The United States Senate has approved a $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief plan. President Biden says it will give families struggling to pay their bills the breathing room that they need. The rescue package narrowly made it through the chamber as one Democrat threatened to vote against it. But that was prevented with some last-minute tweaks to the bill, and the decision ultimately went down party lines. The yeas are 50, the nays are 49. The bill, as amended, is passed. Democrats were jubilant as the legislation finally passed. After a lengthy debate and the longest vote in Senate history, not one Republican backed the stimulus package. It's been a long day, a long night, a long year, but a new day has come. And we tell the American people, help is on the way. The final bill includes $400 billion worth of one-off payments to America's taxpayers. It also continues the weekly $300 payment to those thrown out of work in the crisis. And there's $350 billion in aid to state and local governments that have seen the pandemic blow a hole in their budgets. For the thousands of residents in this Queen's neighbourhood who've been relying on food handouts for a year now, the aid package can't come soon enough. Many of us have been left without jobs, unable to pay the rent or bills, and so we're barely surviving. It's the first major legislation to pass through the Senate under President Joe Biden. It obviously wasn't easy. It wasn't always pretty, but it was so desperately needed urgently needed. The bill now needs to clear the House of Representatives, where the Democrats hold a slightly stronger majority. And for more on this, let's get across to Washington, D.C., and our correspondent, Carolina Chamoy. Carolina, tell us more about the main provisions of this package and who is going to benefit from them if it does pass through the House, as expected. Well, the first important point, Claire, as you already mentioned in this bill, is on the direct payments for all American citizens and people who are legally in the United States who are going to get a check of $1,400 that will be paid directly to them. Um, the second important point is about the federal uh, unemployment insurance that has now been extended unt until September 6th. This means uh, that the ones who don't have a job, they are going to get $300 a month until September. And this was one one of the main points of uh, discussion in the Senate, because originally this insurance would have expired uh, on March 14th. Now it has been extended until September. And the third point, important point in this bill, um, are the tens of billions of dollars that will be uh, allocated to the pandemic response. That means for testing, contact tracing, and also uh, for vaccine distribution. And this is especially important because Biden said this week that there will be enough vaccines for every adult in the United States by the end of May. Of course, uh, there have been some points uh, clear of compromise in order to get this uh, bill through, uh, even among Democrats. Uh, one of the points is, for example, the big compromise, um, this uh, $15 minimum wage. This was uh, completely excluded from the bill in order to get it through the Senate. And despite these compromises, the White House will surely see this as a win of sorts. I mean, what does the fact that not a single Republican voted in favor of this bill mean for Biden's plans for a more bipartisan approach to politics. Well, out of anything, Claire, first of all, and this is very important to say, um, Biden is doing this, uh, and this is the most important policy that he uh, has been facing, especially in the first months of his uh, presidency, getting checks to the Americans and getting shots in their arms. Uh, the, this, the, this was his main promise, and he is getting this through. He has achieved it, and in this case, the bipartisan way is secondary. Uh, but there are other things that are coming up soon uh, where Biden and will have to fight uh, for a bipartisanship uh, like the immigration reform and the infrastructure reform. And uh, these are reforms that will definitely require two-thirds of uh, the votes in the Senate. So there is not going to be a way uh, to get uh, those bills through without uh, a bipartisanship. Uh, and this, um, the, the instrument he used now, the reconciliation process uh, that he used uh, to get the COVID relief bill through, works only in very specific cases, like, for 
example, this one, when the bill is linked to the federal budget. Our correspondent, Carolina Chumoy in Washington, D.C., thank you so much for that update.